How's it going, this game edge? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing great. This is Bermuda Law Survival, brand new update, just launched today. I'm so excited. If you don't have this game, you're gonna want it. There's crafting, there's building a base. We gotta get yourself organized. There's crafting stations. There's loot to go and pick up. It's very, very cool. Now, this is a big update because they changed quite a bit of stuff in this. Uh, but let's go through this really quick. They take a deep breath and dive right into Bermuda Survival, which they're, they're talking about here. And they're saying that this ends the what they consider the technical alpha phase, meaning all prototype leftovers and placeholder assets are gone. The game is fully set up and technically, and now development will focus on game mechanics, balancing and extending content. Wicked. We worked underwater scenery. They also reworked new AR shark wildlife behavior. Sharks will explore the reefs, patrol territory, get hungry, and hunt fish. They observe your behavior and can steal fish you just killed. That's awesome. Again, these are reef sharks, I think, if I'm mistaken. Oh, the tiger shark has been added to the game. Tiger shark can uh, become aggressive depending on the time of day. They're hungry. Oh, great. They'll act definitely in various situations depending on your actions. We all have to be careful. Looks like they brought the tiger shark on. The reef sharks, if I'm mistaken, they're the ones that do not attack us. But the tiger sharks, I guess, if they get a little hungry, they might take, try and take a nibble off us, which is really cool. Fish of schools react to nearby predators. Uh, here, navigation mechanics, brand new. New tools, compass have been found. Uh, you can find in treasure hunts. Ooh. And a treasure hunt. We'll have to try and figure that out. Determine the positions on the map. We also place buoys, which we have done before. Treasures and loot uh, artifacts, points of interest, and unique shipwrecks now contain treasure chests. Find, collect, and different types of artifacts. Woo! Sunken cargo, such as wooden boxes, contain plastic bags. Now uh, have a chance of randomly containing various resource items. That's really nice, too. They also add the clay, plastic bags, compass, a bounty knife, bottle of rum, a map table, new artifact map. And we also see here, what is it? Sea mines in the game. Oh, sea mines. Holy crap. That's going to be, okay, we got to be careful of those. Here we are. We've arrived. We got to start crafting and get going. We also have to go and start looking for loot. Lots of it to be found. Now, if you're wondering, this is actually it here. There's a sleep and save. You actually click on this. You can sleep for as long as you pretty much want. And you save your games over here. And over here, we actually got ourselves our health kits. We got a couple to start with. And of course, we run out of air, we're gonna need those. And maybe those tiger sharks. And we also have food here in case of emergency. And here is our crafting box. And you'll see we can actually make ourselves wood platforms, walls, and many other things. Other things will open up once we get the workbench going. And that is gonna be some work. But first, let's get in there. Let's go and get some stuff. Boom, let's drop in here. Nice. Very, very sweet. I'm seeing this is very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to hit this up. This is a seaweed. We have to hit this baby up. Now, supposedly, this doesn't disappear anymore. It used to disappear. I kind of liked it. I don't know. I, I, I kind of liked it. But I guess some people didn't. It is what it is. You're going to need this for drying racks. So we don't really need it now. We need to get tools and other things to actually get the drying rack. And we will look at what we need to get all that completed. We also need platform. And I think the platform is 12 planks and 12 sticks to start off with. So we'll, we'll get that going grab this and optimization wise i think there's a little bit of optimization still needed for the game again i jumped into this with an early drop of this game so there's anything there will be some hot fixes and stuff i'm sure all that will progress as we go that is not a big deal now we have to watch out for air you see here top right i completely forgot because i'm chit chatting away and that's going to start hurting me for my health if i don't get up there in time just a slight bit of the health you see i'm talking about the right hand side here there's air the second one is water for us to drink of course and the other one's for food then your mental state and your health which i just took a little bit of a beating on because i was talking it's gonna happen it's gonna happen i don't see any rocks or anything that's kind of strange usually there's lots of rocks but we'll pick up all the sticks we possibly can we need at least a couple rocks for making the actual axe i think it's five we'll double check that as we progress is that something yeah getting a little bit of frame rate drops right here uh, these are kind of things will kind of happen as they progress. I'm sure the hot fixes, like I mentioned, will be out. We're just going to strive forward and have fun with this. And uh, yeah, it's not so bad. It's a very, very nice, beautiful game. We're going to go back up and get some air and try and find those rocks. Ah, take a deep breath, buddy. You have to wait up here until you actually get that. Boom. Beautiful. Let's see if we can actually... Oh, wow. Those are the mines. Those are brand new. Those are brand friggin' spanking new. Oh, there's a shark already. Uh, it looks like a tiger, maybe. I, I don't think I want to test it out, but I'm pretty sure if you hit that, there's going to be a problem. I'd love to say that to you know, 
once you die, you die. That's over with. Uh, game over. So unless you want to go back in your save, you're pretty much dead. And you need to start a brand new... Oh, you just have to see. Brand new year. Brand new life. Brand new whatever you want to call it. Let's go get some more loot before it gets too late. There's some uh, stuff over there, but those are not rocks. I see some sticks and stuff here. Now, to get planks out of the other... Out of the ships and stuff that are sunken... Oh, those are near there. What's that? Uh, you actually have to uh, hit it up with an axe. But to get the axe, we need a couple of stones here. Actually, I'm going to go back up and get the full air. Because it's going to be a hell of a dive. Alright, there we go. Get full, full air. We'll dive back down and go and hit this up. But again, these crates too. Best you can hit them up. I'm pretty sure with the actual... You can get sticks out of this. Or you need the axe itself. To actually get the planks, like I mentioned. So it's well worthwhile to wait. Because the planks seem to be a little harder to find. And I think I saw some stuff over here. Is that a ship there? Oh my god, I think we got a sunken ship. Maybe some treasure in that sucker. It's very possible. I don't know if it's that close to us. We gotta be careful not to lose our... Oh my god, where are... Okay, it's right there. Good. To lose our way, I see some stones over here. Some rocks. Let's go and dive down and get those suckers. Actually, we'll go back up and get air and then go back down directly on top of them. It'd be the smartest thing, because it looks like it's like one hell of a long dive. And these nodes here, there's some luminescent and stuff that they reworked everything. All the placeholders, everything is gone. Oh, that's a lot of rocks here. That's good. That's a nice little silly. We can build up, build ourselves the axe and get what we need. Sweet. I don't know what those are. Those are still a luminescent thing, which we can make glow sticks later on, I think, with. So we're not going to need them right now. Our backpack can only take a certain amount of stuff. So we're going to worry about that. I don't think I could dive that deep. Well, maybe I can. Hell, we have to test this out. Oh, that shark looks like he's hungry. I think that's a reef shark, this one. I don't think all of them are tiger sharks. Thankfully. We have to be very careful. And again, they're going to get frenzied. They're going to steal your fish, which is very interesting. I'm curious to see that how that works. Oh, this looks like it's friggin' deep. I don't know what the treasure would be if it's nearby. There's some cannons there on there. We have to investigate this stuff. I know I shouldn't be doing this on the first day, really. Holy moly. Is that treasure? No, I just harvest these. Wow, we're really deep, guys. At the point where I don't think I can get back up with the right amount of air. We don't, we don't, I don't know if we can expand that or not. We'll have to work on this as we progress and see. I don't know if we get better or not skill set wise. There is no skill sets really, but you know what I'm talking about. There may be some bigger and better things. Let's, look like, let's just check this out. Knife, axe, spear, bottle. Coming soon, compass and hammer. And these are upgrades, each and every one of these, right? Yeah, so we get better tools. I guess we just have to hold our breath and try it. Well, we'll see how it goes. First, let's go and get ourselves rolling. I'd like to get a platform and everything else going. Do I have enough to actually make an axe? I think I could do this right in the water for now. I mean, the current state the game is in. Uh, right here, let's go back over here. Let's do axe. Oops, let me axe you. Unlock. Yes, there is. And to get a better one, we need scrap metal and such. All right. To get scrap metal, you need the axe anyway. So that is very good. Let's go get some planks, which we're going to need. And to switch over. Wow, look at all the stuff inside there. It's all over the ground there. Uh, to switch over to the actual axe, just roll your mouse in between there, the roller. And you'll be able to pick it up and switch over to your stuff you need, including your mallet, I guess. There we go. Getting planks to this. Beautiful. Seems like sticks are everywhere, but not what we need for uh, everything. We need to get at least 12 of these. Let's look at my arrow. This is going to be the last one. I have to harvest and go back up really quick. Oh boy. I'm more worried about those sharks too. Now they, I don't think they'll do it early on, but I hope not. I'm trying to see if I can actually remove it and have him swim complete. I don't think he can. I might be wrong too. I'm not sure. I'm checking to see if there's anything, any buttons. I don't see any. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll go down here and grab the last two so we have the planks. We'll head back towards our our wonderful little raft so we don't lose it and then start getting this loot around that area. Now, I don't know if this stuff will actually come back anymore. I, I remember they used to come back or to be loaded back in. You'd have uh, all new stuff to actually harvest if you want to, which is very cool. The sounds are very, very nice. Very tranquil. Yeah, it doesn't like me being too close to the actual bottom part of uh, the water. I wonder if that's a problem. Come on, baby. Hurry up. Holy shit. What the freak? Okay, I gotta go. 
I'm gonna end up choking. Oh my god, I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown, I'm gonna drown, no! Go back up, go back up. Holy moly. That came close. Alright, let's go and find our raft. There she is. I'll swim that direction from now on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not going back down there. There's actually a shark there too, and I think it is... Is that a reef? I think it might be a reef shark. There is no great whites. If you guys are looking for that, there's reef sharks and tiger sharks right now. And my knowledge of sharks, as I know it, is that the reef sharks don't attack humans. I guess tiger sharks, I guess, could. I did, uh, provoked, I guess. That's what they're saying, the right circumstances. That's interesting. And going up and down, the best place to go down is just go down right on top of one of these and just harvest them as you're going. Best place to do it. All right, let's grab this. Now, I do want to go look for treasure. There is plenty. Okay, if you guys like this series, you make sure you smack the like button. Get a calm feels tummy. Game engine wants to see a lot more of this. And we will definitely do more. Again, it, it will optimize itself. It's just patience for a little bit of things. These guys have been working extremely hard. Uh, development team. Uh, working extremely hard at getting this out and about. And uh, I think they've done an excellent job. Yeah, here is getting a little bit of frame rates issues. I'm seeing it right now. Yeah. It's okay. It's when I touch the bottom. Look, I just skimmed the bottom to see. And I start shaking right away. So yeah, there's something about the bomb. Some kind of obstruction between us and the player and that. So that's okay. Oh, my health is going down. That was stupid. Again, when you're chit-chatting away, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. We've got to be careful because once you die, you die. So yeah, that's the fun part, isn't it? There's some more loot on the other side there. Now we have to be careful. Our backpack does have a certain amount of weight. You can see it right now. The actual weight itself, it's a halfway, it's on the left-hand side, bottom. I'm going to go down and get some of you. Just roll, there we go. And we're going to get some scrap metal over here, through these barrels. Now, there's a whole bunch of strewn ships, if you don't know anything about Bermuda Triangle, try check it out, Google it, it's pretty cool. You know, some folklore of it, some weird shipwrecks. So yeah, if you want to check it out, very, very cool. Now, again, we can harvest this a whole lot faster once we get the better quality tools. And that is going to be very, very nice. I'd like to get at least a base structure up. So I'd like to get some more planks and such. And uh, there is some more here. So we're going to go back up, get some air. Because I don't want to be stupid now. We're going to do this up back and forth. And hold our breath and make sure we know where we're at. Okay, good. We're good. Let's dive down. It looks like there's some scrap in there too. So that's very sweet. These boxes are massive. So they're giving us quite a bit of loot. Quite a bit. And actually, when you pick up, it tells you how much is in your bag. That's my 14th stick. That is my 14th stick. So what actually you're grabbing is pretty cool. 32 planks. Which you need a lot of them anyway. So I'm going to tell you right now. Take them while you can. Hit them up. Very, very nice. God, it's beautiful. You see, like, there's no frame rates when actually using the items. I think it's a swimming part. There's some kind of problem with the bottom of it. That's about it. That's okay. It's small things, right? Those are small things. Considering the game is pretty damn solid swimming overall. The sharks are scaring the crap of me. I'm just wondering when they start attacking. We need to get a spear too. And start fishing. Lots to do. Clicking sleep, feeding yourselves. We will need to get the fish and it's something to cook. Oh, strange. I was having a hard time going down there. Oh, shit. Okay. I think that was a reef shark. He's curious, but not curious enough to hit me. So that's good. Okay, we're going to roll this and actually just hit it for sticks now. And there we go. Got two bandages out of that. That is sweet. I didn't realize we actually get other kind of loot out of these suckers. Again, just watching my air. And that shark fin that just went past me. I know, I'm not appreciating that shark fin at all. We're going to go back down. We got some scrap metal that one. Wow. Okay, that changes up everything. I mean, you get scrap from those crates too. And we got two of you. That was weird. What did it look like he was floating on the side? 35 health. Use. We'll use one because I, I could use some health back from my, uh, my mistake. Uh, there's a shark. How you doing? What kind of shark are you? I can't really see colors. It looks like a reef shark. Uh, a little more fearful. That's okay. I prefer we all have an understanding. Let's try and stay away from the bottom touching it it just doesn't seem to go on i think that uh that shark is interested in us big time well curious oh okay how you doing how you doing we're all cool eh like i mean hey buddy if i get a fish well, i'll share with you i'll share with you i have no problems with that shit 
The other thing going back up is nice to actually hit up these seaweeds as fast as you possibly can. Space bar, of course, is one of those things. And uh, Nightfall is about to hit this, so we have maybe one more dive to go. And our bag is full, actually. We're going to go back up here. Screw it. All right, let's get back up. Let's uh, let's start going into our actual our little crafting box. And our crafting box itself. Uh, to actually make this happen, you're going to have to grab the stuff and drop it in here. So you can actually sort out as you want. Progress. I think it's shift-click, isn't it? Yeah, split. If you want to shift-click and split, you would hold on shift. And just clink it like that. Drop it with left-click. You can cancel it out. Let's try to see what else you can actually do with this. There we go. No, that's it. So shift click. Perfect. There's some plastics here. A couple more rocks, which we're going to need more now. We can actually keep these on us. Quick access. Put those in the last one. I think it's number three for that. And, of course, some of this. All right. This way, we can actually build. It tells you how many of each you can actually make right now. We're going to make ourselves two platforms of this. One and dos. And there we go. Both these are going to clock right out there. They're like clocking on number one. Thank you. I think you actually just place it here with a hammer. It's been a little bit. Let's let's give it a shot. I think I put the hammer. Oh, yeah, there it is. So it shows you right there. Then you shift and the scroll to actually pick up what you want. And we'll put it close to our actual raft right now. Place. And you can rotate if you want to. Very nice. And they do click in very nicely, too. Sweet. Very nice. We got ourselves a platform. We're going to need some sleep. And how are we doing on food? Let's check out our food problem right now. We're actually okay. We're thirsty. And that is going to be a little bit of a problem since I have no water. All right. Let's go and try and figure out how we're going to do this here. Um, this is grab what what I get for this. Hunger and thirst by 30. All right. Let's use that for now. Let's see what we need to make a canteen. Do I have enough of that? I got some scrap before. This is available right here. To unlock, I need five scrap metal, two sticks, and one rope. Rope is a big problem, which means I'm going to have to work on getting this next, which is going to be four planks and 12 sticks. So sticks are going to be very, very, very important. It looks like after we finish drinking, this gives us one little piece, maybe? I don't know. I guess so. Can. That makes sense. Let's uh, sleep this down, and we'll sleep till morning, I guess. Let's bring us around here. Perfect. Keep our mental state proper. We'll hope not wake up just a little bit more. There now. There we go. Sweet. Done. Cute. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to go back in and just do new save. And there we go. It tells you day two. And we're going to jump back into the water and see if we can actually see anything at this time of day. Not very much. But a little bit. And the sun is coming up right now. So it's actually clearing up. Perfecto. Let's pick up a couple more things. I'd like to get at least the rope going. And getting our own canteen and such. It looks like... is that No, that's not a rock. Rocks are definitely not in everywhere. Like, they're not everywhere, everywhere. It's going to be tough to find. So sticks are on the menu right now. Need a lot of sticks. I think of planks-wise, we've done our job. I find those. So if you see more containers and stuff, we we'll use actual knife as a tool. We actually use it on these ships too, if I'm not mistaken. Harvest here, perfect. Let's get a couple sticks out of this. Ah, oh, crap. What did I just finish saying? Be careful about your oxygen. And for some reason, I forget it. Look at my health is going down. Health is going down. Health is going down. Jesus. I gotta stop doing that, Cambridge. Come on, man. <laughs> I was talking too much. That's what it is. It's all good. All right, let's get down here and grab this. Sticks going in. That's nice. We're getting to a shot here. Just checking my oxygen. I got my eyes more in the oxygen than anything else right now. Come on. Go for about 30-ish plus. And I'm going to go back up, get the air, and come back down for the planks. We can also swipe over. Now, you don't have to just stay with sticks. You can actually go back down and actually utilize your axe on it. You can swap back and forth all you want. Look at that. We did it. We're also very thirsty, so we need to get our butt in gear and get those things going. I think I have enough what it needs. We actually need. Is that possible to actually make this 
Got enough sticks and, of course, enough of you. Nice, and we should be able to craft you. Perfect, and also our workbench. Nice. We're going to need this for rope. I'll bring this over here, and we'll bring this right over there. We also can expand this by one. Let's get her done. And I'm also very thirsty right now. I have to be careful of that, too. Perfect. All right, let's get over here. Let's expand this. Did it move? Oop. Feels like everything kind of moved a little bit from where we were. I'm getting worried that we're losing our raft here. This might be something new. Before it just stuck around, I think there's a movement on this. Now we have to be kind of careful with. Unless it is what it is. We'll uh, go over here. We'll put down this right here. That's a pretty okay place. Let's actually put it down here. Okay, so we'll place, and then we can rotate, right? How do we rotate? Place. R. Oh, wait. Place, and then rotate. Q and E. I don't know. Oh, you actually move your mouse. There we go. I've been a while since I haven't done this. Excellent. Let's actually utilize this. We'll go back in here. Uh, I'm dying, so I have to grab one of these. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Everything's good. Everything's good. Shouldn't have risked it. Okay, I get the point. I get the freaking point. Okay, and you just come over here and you drop this off into the drying rack and run it. We should be able to get some rope by the end of this. You'll see. And it'll give us six total. Very nice. And at the same time, we can actually extend this back. Right, let's bring this here with shift. Excellent. And we're also going to do shift and bring up our kit. No, don't deconstruct. No, no. Put this. Oops. Click. And we're going to put this right here and rotate it to make it look a little nicer. Excellent. Now we got ourselves our full area here, which actually makes us some food and many other things we're going to need through here. Stairs. Yeah, I think our raft is disappearing, guys. I think a raft, uh, once we start building this stuff, it might go. I'm going to grab all this stuff just in case that we suddenly have a big problem and it's, these are all gone. I'm going to grab everything we have here uh, because I think <laughs> I don't think this is going to be here for much longer. Okay, uh, grab everything in here. I'm going to drop it off on the other side. Now, we also have weight limits, so be careful what you're carrying. I'm not liking that we're losing this. It's freaking me out a bit. All right, and we're going to drop this off in here. Okay. So we have sticks in here. That. We've got some scrap, some rocks, some plastics, and, of course, our health kits. We'll just store everything here for now. Not a big deal. We can actually utilize that. We're actually a little thirsty, which I need rope, right, to make that? Am I sticking? I need a rope. How much do I need for that? Let's do a tab again. A bottle. One rope sticks and scrap metal we have all that let's go and get the water and yeah tab unlock we have that now excellent we'll drop you off again because we don't want to keep any of this here perfect and we're gonna have to go back down we also need to start getting something to actually boil the water not mistaken so that'll be a bark you need scrap metal which is gonna be some more and some stone oh god it's gonna be hard okay Maybe get one more line, one more can of food here. I don't like using this, but damn it, with no choice. All right, that's good. And to fill it up, you just have to rotate to actual here and hold it down. Now, I'm not sure how much seawater it kept on filling last time we used to have this. And while you're filling, you can actually grab stuff. So you can leave this open and really get quite a bit of water. I think that might be limited in the future as they progress, but uh, for now we can actually do this. Just makes it a little bit easier, especially how fast and thirsty he gets. It might have to be some balancing on that, I think, but it's fine. Grab you, grab you. Oh, air. Up we go, up we go. Yeah, we got a lot of water. All right, that's good. That's good enough. Oh no, you can actually stay up for the air. Get much stay up for the air. Take a deep breath. And back down. 
Excellent. I think I might hit up this thing area, but I'm going to have to find some other stuff here. All right. And some planks and some sticks. So we hit up this ship, then we're going to have to look for some scrap to get that going so we can start boiling up. Can I hit this? Oh, there you go. Harvest here. Planks. Let's get a couple more. Make sure she's all good and then get some more sticks. Damn. I think we're good here. We're going to do one dive down. The next dive will be just for sticks on this. Yeah, I see you. I see you, the anger. I see the anger behind it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. All right. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. We're all good. We're all good. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Let's grab some of the seaweed as we're going down. Just to make sure we have some extra. Now, this ship won't be forever. So sooner or later, that'll just disappear. Just like it creates at least the planks on top. Well, the rest of the ship will stay where it's at. Left over the wreck. I mean, there we go. Got 20. And we're going to have to find some scrap. We should be okay at 30. There we go. It's all good. I'll pick that up. Pick you up. Pick you up. And I think we're good for that. I'm just going to find some of those scrap. <laughs> it's not going to be so easy. It's a very wide, wide, wide map. A very big map. Can I press M? I can't do M anymore. I used to have a map on top. But that's gone. See any scrap? Oh, I think I see some. Oh, yes, we do. Nice. Switch over to our actual with the mouse wheel again. Switch over to our axe. Aaron, get down here. Now, I'm not very happy I have to use all this stuff, but again, when are you talking, explaining, doing things, learning together? You're going to have those things. Once we'll we start progressing a little more, we'll be just fine. We won't need that. We'll be able to make ourselves a spear and other things to get fish. Which I should be looking at right now, too. Next uh, dive up, we're going to just check that out. Come on, I need all this to make at least a little stove. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wonder if that has anything for scrap. <laughs> Shit, I'm not hitting that. I don't care. There might be some good loot down there, though. Come on, hurry up. Nice. Up you go, up you go. Up, up. Look up. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got it, you got it, brother. You got it, you got it. You're cool, you're cool. You're cool, everything is good. Excellent. Uh, rocks are a little tougher to find. I'm finding in this version. I used to find them all over the place, and I'm not finding them anywhere like usual. Usually, you would find tons of rocks. Yeah, it's kind of different. All right, let's go and see what else we can do here. I want to definitely make that water go on. I want that done. The stove. I forgot to check for the spear. Always looking for more loot. You know how it feels. You got to do that. You got to get yourself rolling. The more the merrier. And it's very addicting too to go down here and you know, grab all that loot. There used to be some that were a lot higher now. That's really strange. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see the spear, what I need for the spear. Coming soon. Unlock. Need five more stones. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's open this here. We're going to actually do this here. We need five stones also. Damn it. This is a big problem. Stones are becoming the... the I didn't think it would be this hard to get stones. Uh, this food must be refined first, yeah. So that's going to be a big problem. Big up problem now to you. All right, we'll grab this. Put you back in here and run it. Let's see if we can get some more rocks from over here somewhere. We were going always the opposite direction, so we're going to try for here. There's some scrap there, but really rocks, 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 right? That's what we really are desperate for. Let's get a little more height. Maybe we'll see it just a little better from up here. I mean, I'd like to go back in these containers. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit something here because we didn't know we had stuff in those suckers. So I might actually hit this up just for the actual loot inside, which seems to give me something every time I was hitting them. Two supplies. What does that mean? Oh, two cans of food. Oh, that's wicked. 
All right, so there's some, there's, yeah, you need to hit these things to survive. That's what it is. They just made it a little more difficult and added supplies to it. Very, very nice. That takes the stress away from looking for the rocks too much. Come on, up we go. What do we get for that? I didn't see if we got extra. It will take a little supply when we get up here. Up you go, and we're just gonna right click and use. Oh yeah, did you see how you just kind of tilts to the left? That's interesting. I've not seen that before. That maybe it's a little bit of an issue. Gotta love indie games. Again, this is, says right there, I mean, early access. You know, can't do anything about it. Uh, the guys and the development team is working extremely hard at it. Very proactive, uh, kept communication during the whole process. I thought it was really cool. I thought they did their job properly. You know, you bought the product, you want to make sure you, you can actually you know, actually know what's going on when you actually purchase it. It's been such a long wait. That's what I'm trying to say. Grab you, and I'm going to look for more stuff. My auction. Up, 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 up. I don't know if I got any more stuff out of that big crate there. We'll have to double check it. I think I got some scrap out of that. We're all good, we're all good. Was that some coral? Some kind of coral. These things, anything important? Yeah, we can harvest this. Red coral, nice. It might be useful. I have a lot of videos on the older version of it, both how it was before, so if you guys want to check it out, you can always check it out, see the progress of these wonderful people have done. It's gonna go a little further out again, looking for rocks. We're looking for rocks at all the wrong places. Oh, we need TNT. F uh, we need dynamite for that, don't we? That's going to be a while, while from now before we do that. All right. All right. We will go for the scrap, too. This will be a little bit longer episode than usual. It's the first day, and I'd like to kind of go through the whole process, what we have to do here. But I think we might have to... Uh, so we got 30 minutes. <laughs> Can't help myself. There's scrap everywhere. So I might get the scrap, I might get the stuff going and uh, trying to find the rocks myself. And for next episode, we'll try to finalize and get the fires going. I think that'd be pretty cool. And uh, hopefully not die from uh, drowning like I'm doing right now. Uh, lots of scraps. So yeah, I think we're going to leave that here. We've done a pretty good job overall. We've actually survived the day somewhat. We did injure ourselves. We learned a couple of things. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see the future of this game. If I can actually find my way back. There she is. All right, cool. I'll go down and back and try and grab a little bit more loot and try and find, like I mentioned, oh, there's a tiger shark and a reef shark. I'm getting a, a dodge. I'll try and find those rocks for next episode. Again, if you guys like this and want to see a lot more of it, make sure you hit the like button. Tell me, Game Edge, this interests me. I'd be very much appreciated. This is your Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.